Hello, welcome to the Department of Computer Science and Information Engineering at National Dong Hua University. My name is David, you can call me Mr. D. Maybe you're wondering who the hell I am and why I'm here, but it doesn't really matter. The point of my existence is to show you how cool the CSI is. Students in the Department of CSI study programming, web design, database management, hardware and software collaboration, and are trained in software development and data science skills that enable computers to learn to make decisions, create virtual worlds, and manipulate machines with computers. By the way, this is our chairman. There are no students in these programs who play video games in class because our department chairs will. Well, because we have a lot of special courses open for elective, absolutely interesting and fun, more fun than the hand game. Corresponding to these programs are several high-performance computer classrooms. Let's visit them all now. First of all, we came to see Sai's brand new AI computer classroom, which was built at a cost of tens of millions of dollars. In addition to the computers with supercomputing power and cool AI flashlights, what else is there here? We have invited an expert in the field of artificial intelligence, Dr. Shi Jim Yen, to introduce us to the courses conducted here. This course is the Artificial Intelligence Program. What do you teach in this course? The course content is structured around the methods used to implement AlphaGo's Go program. During this class, students will also be asked to write chess programs. At the end of the semester, there will be an Othello tournament to see what we've accomplished. It gives the impression of being very technologically advanced and sounds very interesting. In addition to the AI classroom with superb computing power, we also have a classroom full of helmets, like this kind of helmets. Also this. You can do all kinds of VR programs in this classroom with this kind of helmet. For example, VR games. Please pay attention to safety while playing. If you're the kind of person who can't tell the difference between virtual and real, AR might be a better fit for you. With various image processing or computer vision technologies, you can also make cool products here. Isn't that interesting? Hmm? What's going on here? This course is about mobile network communication technology for unmanned vehicles. Huh? And this course will introduce UAV flight control systems and UAV communications. Aha. Uh -huh. The application section includes autonomous driving of unmanned vehicles, IT integration technology, and how to utilize AI to integrate unmanned vehicles for the development of some scenario applications. Yeah, I know AI, I just went. The course covers the introduction of UAV regulations, communication principles of UVs, and principles of UAV control and communication systems. We will also introduce the collective flight function of unmanned vehicles. Wow, is that the same move you used when you in? In the end of this course, we will introduce how to use the existing mobile communication 5G technology with unmanned vehicles to achieve the technical principle of remote control. So can we learn that move in this course? Actually, 